my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. All right. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. So you're starting off Capricorn, your overall energy, chaos and conflict and chop wood. Oh... I feel like you're really trying to put in a lot of work and effort into something and it's just chaos and conflict. Um, almost like it's backfiring on you. I am seeing the number 33. Look up angel numbers 33 to see if there is a message there for you. All right, what's your person's overall energy, Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn's person? What's going on with Capricorn's person in love? What is going on? Show me clearly. All right, they have imagine. So they could be trying to manifest something, deep knowing. All right, your person seems like they could be very intuitive, spiritual, um, round and round. This could be a karmic. Um, I feel like they have some kind of deep knowing when it comes to this connection. All right, um, they're also either reflecting, going within, or trying to manifest something here round and round I don't know if you guys were kind of stuck in a karmic cycle or they were um, we also have thinker and then change in the wind and clean it up all right so there could be a big shift happening here for you Capricorn hmm I don't know let's get into it let's see what the tarot says let's see let's see all right I feel like you got them I'm also seeing a lot of fours four 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 all right, uh, current situation for Capricorn and their person, current situation, Capricorn and their person, what's going on? Communication, eight of wands. Was there a time where it was just so chaotic, you guys just stopped talking, took a break? I feel like now communication is like at the forefront here between the two of you, talking it out, working it out. All right, someone's trying to make a decision here, a head over heart decision. Communication, Capricorn. Mm, what's going on? What's going on? Capricorn and their person, there you are. Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. You're trying to make a decision here. You could be the one thinking, Capricorn. You might want a new beginning, either with, I don't know if it's with this person or with somebody else. Let's keep going. What is this Ace of Wands here? Or there's just, there's still that attraction, passion, desire between the two of you. And you kind of just want to like reignite that spark here. And maybe less fighting, less arguing, less conflict. We have Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, and Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like you want to change from this in and out, wishy-washy, up and down energy to victory and success, you know, appreciating each other, praising each other, um, listening to each other, you know, instead of like in and out, in and out, wishy-washy energy. Someone's feeling sadness, loss, regret, remorse here. What happened? What are the blockages between Capricorn and their person? What are the blockages? Oh, you stopped feeling it, Capricorn? Did you stop feeling that soulmate bond here with this person? Passion died out, attraction died out. I feel like you do want to reignite that flame though. Oh, Scorpio, uh, Cancer Pisces could have gotten in the way. I have Aries energy showing up too. Someone may have been too afraid to take some kind of big leap of faith. There could have also been, some, there's something with emotions or communication going on here. Someone could have been very wishy-washy with emotions or jealous, possessive, a little too much and it caused some chaos here. For some of you, it may have scared you away from taking some kind of a leap of faith. You guys are always very cautious, though, 
Capricorn, you you don't just jump in usually. You you weigh risk versus reward for the most part. From what I learned from you guys, you guys don't make quick sudden moves. You really think it through, plan it out, make sure that the risk is worth the reward here. The juice is worth the squeeze, right? All right, so what else? Blockages, yeah, it wasn't equal give and take. It wasn't balanced. One of you could have been breadcrumbing the other, leading them on. I do have that here kind of twice. Um, the chariot, yeah, things weren't moving forward. Cancerian energy. Oh, uh, Capricorn, I feel like, um, There was, there, there was chaos going on. There was chaos, confusion, conflict. Um, it was not balanced here. You could have felt like you were doing a lot of the work. They weren't doing, they weren't holding their own or whatever. Um, it wasn't equal give and take. Um, I feel like you do want to reignite that flame with this person um, because I do feel like it may have died out. And it turned more into just arguments, disputes, getting on each other's nerves, pissing each other off. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. For some of you, you might be reconciling with a Sagittarius. I feel like some of you might be making some kind of choice in love and moving in a different direction, reconciling with somebody else from the past. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? Capricorn, the moon. They could feel like you're hiding stuff, keeping secrets. <sighs> this person could be really intuitive. It was showing. I feel like they could be really intuitive. Capricorn, don't take this personal and this message isn't for all of you. If you were stepping out or if there was somebody else or you weren't fully committed to this person, they may have picked up on that. And when they questioned you and you challenged their own intuition, they came off as jealous and possessive. Okay, could be flip flop reverse, may not even resonate with you. But I am seeing that here and just felt I had to mention that anyway. Um, all right, how does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about you, Capricorn? Like you're keeping secrets. <laughs> they are using their intuition here. Pisces, Scorpionic energy, Cancer, Pisces energy, Scorpio, it is all water right here. The Tower, High Priestess, and the Moon. Uh... Capricorn, cross watcher, whoever. I'm really kind of going towards this deep knowing, imagine, thinker, a change in the wind, clean it up, chaos, conflict, a peaceful new beginning into the sea. Round and round. Somebody here may have been giving false hope or stepping out of the relationship. Things weren't even, things weren't being communicated. Equal love wasn't being given. Capricorn, you may have been in it more for the sexual side of things. And this person thought it was going to be more. Take that however it resonates. But I feel like they do think you're hiding something or you have some kind of secrets. Or the secrets came out and it caused the tower moment. Chaos and conflict. All right. How else do they feel about you? Ten of Wands. Burden. Oh, you caused some kind of a burden here, Capricorn. Again, could be flip-flopped and reversed. Yep. They may have, I don't know, nine of swords, four of cups, four of wands. Now they're stressed, anxiety, sleepless nights, feeling bored, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned. Something to do with commitment, next level of commitment, house and home. Twin flame, soulmate connection, 1111, make a wish, wish is coming true, or a reason to celebrate is all surrounded by sadness. 
I feel like maybe this person wanted to commit. Again, Capricorn, it could have been you. Flip it if you have to, because I feel like it could be a little of both sides. I'm just going to go with this as you, and this is your person, how they feel about you, okay? They feel like you were hiding something or a secret came to light. It caused a major burden. Now they're feeling ignored, abandoned, left out, sleepless nights, replaying events over in their head, wanting this commitment with you, but you couldn't give it to them or wouldn't give it to them. Again, feel free to flip that, okay? Uh, let's see. What's the potential outcome here? What are you going to do, Capricorn? What's the potential outcome? What's the potential outcome? What's going on, Capricorn? Keep in mind, you have free will, so do they, so the outcome could possibly change. Okay. Oh, here's that Scorpionic. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, energy coming through. All look at Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Death and rebirth, aha moment, wake up call, reconciliation, something like that. And Knight of Cups, Pisces, energy. I feel like somebody is going to offer an apology, make some kind of love gesture, romantic gesture, a phone call, a conversation. Let's meet up. Let's talk. For some kind of transformation here for a new beginning a reconciliation all right i do th there's a lot of water coming through could be anybody though i'm gonna pull other signs take it how it resonates uh it could just be somebody who has a lot of emotion for you they're gonna come towards you or you them and apologize to reconcile this the devil capricorn energy there you are this could be a soulmate bond or some kind of karmic. I don't know. There you are. I don't know. Are you going to reject this? No. I don't think you are. Stable new beginning, making a decision. Well, you might be making a choice. Capricorn. You know what I'm thinking? I think you guys broke up. Something came to light. Some mistakes were made. Some burdens were caused. And now I do feel you're going to reconcile. I feel like Capricorn, you had a taste of being single. Again, this can be reversed. I'm just going this way, so bear with me. I feel like, because you're showing up here, I with sadness, loss, regret, remorse, I, I feel like Capricorn, <laughs> you had a taste of being single, and I feel like you didn't really like it. It made you sad. You had regret. You felt a loss. So that's why I feel like you want to put that work and effort into this connection now. I see it in many different ways. Change in the wind, cleaning it up. That's cleaning up this mess, a peaceful new beginning, moving on to calmer waters, and then go the distance. I, I feel like this is going to transform here, Capricorn. I feel like this is going to come back together. Um, and I feel like neither of you enjoy being apart from each other. So I feel like that will give this newfound appreciation for each other, some strength, confidence within this connection. And I do feel like it's going to level up. It might take a little bit of time. It might take a little bit of time to work through this, but I do see it coming back together. I do. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacle for Capricorn. Success. So finding success within this connection. Is it going to work? Is it going to happen? Past lives. Yep. Guys, definitely we're supposed to meet in this, this lifetime. And that's why there could be a lesson here to learn. Courage. Having the strength to make it through this. Mm, Capricorn. All right, let's see. What else? What else? Journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey, family, kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family stress, get support, 
if you're telling family and friends your problems, issues, things that happen, make sure it's someone you can trust um, and that they're not going to hold it against you if you go back to this person and work things out. Um, but there could have been kids, opinions thrown in there. You could have had somebody telling you what they think you should do and you, you did that, you know. Um, okay, what else? What else? Release. Loosen your hold, relax, and wind. Release fear, anxiety, and doubt. You guys are good for that, holding on to fear for things. Not for everything, but with the risk, you know. All right, what else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn? All right, I want you. I lost myself for a little while. I wonder if you were happy without me. That's what I was saying. Somebody or both of you does not like not being with you or being single. All right. So yeah, I hid my, I hid behind material things. That could have been you, but could have been them too. Could have just threw money at problems instead of fixing them. Just saying. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna pull some letters, could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word that's meaningful to you. What do we got? We have I-W-H-K-T-Y-X-N-M-A-F and Q. Um, keep in mind, I only have one of each letter. Feel free to double it if the first last name has the same letter, whatever. So X I H W N M Q F A T K Y. All right, let's get some numbers. Numbers could be, ah, damn it. That went way over there. I'll just roll another one. Uh, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, days, months, weeks, years, could be angel numbers, could be an age. Take it how it resonates, okay? All right, 4-4. Four, four. I literally was just looking at this, and it's number 44. Look up the angel numbers, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so we have 4-4-9. Four, four, so it could be April or the 9th. Uh, it could be the 4th or the 9th of any month. It's September or April. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so that's a 9. And then 4. Or number 2, um, February. could be the 24th, 29th. could be 23rd. Be 32, 42, 43, 49. Take it how it resonates. All right, zodiac signs could be strong placements in their chart, could be their actual sun sign. It could happen during Capricorn season, for instance. Okay, what do we got? Taurus, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Gemini. So it could be any of those signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, and Sagittarius. All right, uh, Capricorn, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Capricorn, love and light, take care.